Scram Project Gravity Assisted Pulse Motor Update. Uh, we uh, reduced one of the gear ratios to a, uh, a 1 to 2. And uh, so now the total transmission has a uh, gear ratio of 1 to 5. And uh, we hooked up a uh, bridge rectifier to a cap. And uh, we're recording uh, yeah, about 200 volts you know, DC no load at the uh, at the output. So the problem is, is that uh, my homemade uh, uh, single phase permanent magnet alternator. I used uh, really small wire, so it would produce a high voltage, low current, and the voltage is uh, just way too high. If I hook it up to the uh, MPPT solar. Uh, panel controller. Uh, it'll blow up uh, because the uh, VOC rating on this unit is 80 volts. So uh, we purchased a uh, permanent magnet alternator that has a, uh, a no load uh, voltage output, uh, you know, much less than uh, the homemade version. And uh, so the next thing to do is to hook this up and uh, see what kind of readings we get. Uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy the day. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can get over there without breaking myself or getting hit by the swinging weight. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's the, uh, the cam and uh, switch configuration. I don't know how well you can see that, but... So every time that triggers... Uh, yeah, it jumps up to four volts or four amps, and then uh, you know settles at around three amps, you know, and then it turns off. So that's what the pulse pattern looks like uh, for the current on the uh, DC motor. Um, Obvious improvements will be to uh, change this uh, falling weight configuration to a uh, two swinging pendulums with two independent uh, seesaws, and then uh, you know we'll be able to adjust the weights and adjust the uh, you know the uh, uh, force, the input force parameters uh, a little easier. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the day. Cheers.